this Tuesday, it's the fifth day of London Fashion Week and we're going to Jonathan Saunders. Jonathan is back in London after an absence of three years, I think, in New York. And he really has become one of our international star designers. He's one of the reasons why Anna Winter came to London. And apparently she's already been backstage and checked it out. Signature look for Jonathan is usually very kind of sculpted fabrics, usual, beautiful use of colour. He takes these very kind of fabrics that almost kind of stand up by themselves and he kind of works them around the body. It's quite sculptural and engineered. <laughs> Just seen Jonathan Saunders Spring Summer 2010 collection, which was fabulous. Nothing's ever too tight, it kind of works with this very square shift shape and doesn't really kind of like tie it close to the body it's all quite soft but at the same time quite straight lines that he uses lots of geometric seaming beautiful colors kind of like ice cream colors almost that's such a big trend for the summer now i think there must have been about 30 really wantable dresses in there this is Everybody arriving for the Burberry show at the Chelsea School of Art. One of the reasons why the 25th anniversary of London Fashion Week has become such a big deal is because Burberry has come home from Italy. There's a high celebrity quotient here. I've just seen Victoria Beckham looking kind of amazing in a black dress, which I guess is one of her own. Liv Tyler is here. The iconic trench coat is of course what Burberry is most known for, but designer Christopher Bailey has actually taken all of the kind of signatures, the tailoring signatures and the details of that really kind of globally iconic item and taking it forward into a really kind of young, sophisticated, urban, ready to wear. My sister, the first thing she said, is Paula Reed coming to the show? <laughs> she is such a Grazia fan. I really wanted it to be like a pure expression of, of the yeah. Burby brand, but yeah. just twisted and kind of a bit sexier in a, you know, in a new way. I think it was really great to see so much yeah, colour. There's a massive amount of hype about the show and what it showed was that this was slick and glamorous and professional and I think it was a fantastic showcase for what the success that a British design company can achieve. It's the final day of London Fashion Week and it's been a fantastic week. I mean truly memorable for so many shows. Christopher Kane was another highlight. All the major editors from all around the world coming to see just uh, Jonathan Saunders' beautiful show today. It's been fantastic. It's been one of the most memorable London Fashion Weeks that I've ever attended. Come spring summer 2010, I guarantee you will have a really soft jersey dress. Some beautiful kind of pale pink or fleshy beige or minty green take your pick girls from all those ice cream colors you'll have one of them in your wardrobe that your shoes are going to get slightly less fierce and you're going to come down to earth a bit more off those platforms